All right, so let's get serious here for a minute. Um, have you had any issues with security? I mean, we've been going for six years, or we're at least starting our sixth year um, out on the road now, and really, we've never had any issues, but you know, every once in a while we hear this bump in the night, right? And you wonder, oh, what is that? Or, you know, maybe you park somewhere and you know, you want to, uh, someone wants to get a hold of you or who knows what, I don't know. Um, maybe somebody's just wandering around your rig and you're kind of wondering what's going on. We're gonna kind of check that out today and see if there's an option that we can install on our rig to help us out. Hi everyone, welcome to Tigner Adventures. Um, so today we are going to be talking about security a little bit. Um, I just got done installing a Blink doorbell on my uh, sister's home and we've been playing around with it and everything and I thought, you know, that's kind of cool. And so now I am uh, I actually went out and bought me a Blink system. And if you can see here, I've actually, so far I've purchased uh, this three camera system with a another uh, single camera that's uh, four outdoor cameras and then I have this little mini that I'm going to install in the front of the rig pointing towards the back uh, that pretty much covers everything we can kind of see what Tansy's doing and if we want to on the inside of the rig it does um, if you want to get access to this remotely then it does have uh, a service fee that you have to pay per month so we're going to kind of dig into that a little bit in this video and i'm just going to kind of show you what there is and see if we can make this work on an rv it's a little different uh, this is actually meant for a house a stationary place but we're going to do something different and just try this out i like how these cameras are just really small they're not much bigger than this <laughs> so um and then um you know, so they should fit on the side of the rig really nice and everything. So that's really nice. And then I also bought this. This is a, um, let's see, what is this? This is a 64 gig drive, uh, USB drive that can plug into the little sync module that comes with it. And what it does is when it's doing videos and things like that, it syncs it up to the cloud automatically when you have a good Wi-Fi signal, which most times we do. And uh, it also backs it up onto this little USB drive. So we're gonna kind of open this up, just show you what there is here. And then we're gonna talk about how we're going to actually mount this on our rig. All right, so first of all, we have to, of course, take off uh, the plastic wrap. Um, and then this just slides open right here, looks like. Oh, gotta keep it flat. All right. So this is what it looks like inside. This little module here, this is called a um, Blink 2 module. It's got a little USB port here on the side and that's why it's the version two is because you could actually plug that little USB uh, piece in there, memory piece, and it will store up you know, some of your videos on here. It's got a power connector right there that we can actually connect it up. So that's the one part of it. And then let's go ahead and we're gonna pull out one of the cameras. So here's the camera. So here's my palm of my hand. You can see that it is pretty small camera. This is gonna be mounted on the side of my rig in a set position, just uh, on the middle of each one of the sides of my rig. And then that way I can get a pretty good view all the way around my rig. And so I'm gonna kind of play around with that and see what kind of views, you know, if it's flat like that, you know, can I see, how far down can I see? I don't know, I don't know how high I wanna put it to, you know, so it's what I gotta work with. In the front, we'll probably just, I'm not even sure how to put it in the front because the front of our rig goes at a slight angle. So that's another thing I gotta figure out there. And so we're gonna see how that all works out. I think I'm gonna install the Blink doorbell on our actual door. So if someone comes up and they actually push the doorbell or I can set it up for its motion sensor, so someone walks up to it, it will alert me and I can see who's at the door. And that seems to have a pretty wide uh, view of what's going on you know, in, on that side of the rig. So I don't think I really need one of these um, outside on that side of my rig, which is where my awning is. So I was thinking I would put this up on the roof, you know, at the front of the rig, pointing back. And that way I can see everything that's happening on the roof itself, uh, if there's whatever's going on and, uh, you know, 
kind of have an idea what's happening. You know, sometimes uh, one night I sound like somebody was walking around on the, well, not someone, a animal of some type was walking around on the rig. And I wasn't for sure what it was. Well, when I got up in the morning and checked, we were parked under a tree that had little uh, bud things, you know, that were falling off all night long in the wind. And so it sounded like somebody, you know, like a little bird or, you know, some kind of animal was walking around. And this has really excellent night vision. So we could just pull it up on the can on the phone and just tie into the camera and just see, hey, what's going on up there? Oh, it's just junk falling off the trees, no big deal. Uh, anyway, just, you know, peace of mind is really what this is all about. Okay, so I said that these were outdoor cameras, so I just wanted to make sure that everyone understands these are waterproof and uh, they work well in the sun and the heat and things like that. So at least that's what we're going to test. <laughs> we're going to see how that all works out, but it says that it's rated for all that, so that's pretty cool. On the back here, we have actually two rubber covers. There's one here if we want to plug a USB wire into the back of it. Um, you know, if we wanted to just power it that direction, uh, that would be... Uh, something that you could do. They do have a solar piece that you can buy for this that mounts inside of a little solar, solar case and then that way the battery isn't being used all the time. But it also comes with a number of lithium batteries and these lithium batteries uh, go inside of this unit and they will last up to two years. Now I've seen reviews where they last three months. I've seen your reviews where they last two years. So it really kind of depends on how much you have it kicking on and off. And so that's what we're going to kind of play with and look at what you can set up different zones for your motion detection and stuff. So they don't have to be going on all the time, and except for just when people get fairly close to your rig is kind of the, the whole idea. So anyway, but if I take this off, um, we, we see this little screw right here and that's how you take the case apart. And they come with these little adapters that work along with the, let me pull this up here this little mount you can actually take this and you can mount this in this direction and have the camera you know they just all go together so just a lot of different options for mounting this camera but this particular mount has a screwdriver built into the end of it right here and so you can kind of see that right there and so the idea is you use this to unscrew this screw all right so we've undone that and if we pull this back cover off then you can see in the side the back of the camera here it does require two double a batteries and those are lithium batteries and so it's 1.5 lithium only batteries and so that's what you can put into here and then you put this back on and then these different mounts are going to mount to it to hold it on to in our case our rig somehow not sure how yet uh, going to work on that and uh, see what we can figure out. All right, so the first thing we want to do is we're going to check out these instructions they sent us. Uh, basically, it's just a QR code that you can scan and then you can download the app onto your device. In my case, I'm using a uh, iPhone, uh, so I'm going to download that for that. Uh, they also have a blinkforhome.com slash setup, but uh, if you download the app, then it does a step-by-step -step walkthrough of how to actually get everything connected up. So anyway, here it is. If you look right here on my screen, I actually got the app installed. And so the next step is that when you have it installed and you go through it, it's gonna talk about how to do all the setup and everything. So we'll walk you through that. But basically each one of these devices, whether it's the camera or the sync module, they, ha they do have QR codes on them and things so that you can actually install them. And so you just scan that code and then it automatically has all the details about this particular one that's just specific to you, okay? And it uh, installs that into your actual software. So we're gonna go ahead and just plug it in. Make sure it all lines up right. There we go. And then we're just waiting for our lights to start blinking as the app tells us. So let's go ahead and start it blinking. So we're gonna go ahead and finish setting it all up. So you can see it is now all set up and working. It is linked to our local network. And at this point, we're going to take each one of our cameras that we have, and we need to do the same exact process. So now we have all the cameras installed in the software. The next step is that we have also purchased this video doorbell 
and so I'm going to go through the process of setting this up within the software also and all of these things will be on that one app on my phone. I started looking on Amazon and I actually found um, this uh, case right here. Here's the uh, doorbell and I found this case right here that the doorbell actually uh, fits into and so I can <clears throat> put some double stick tape here. I'm going to stick it to the side and it's got a part here that just goes up here and just clicks into place and and then it holds it in there nice and tight so that'll be good it'll just that's for the doorbell for the actual uh cameras themselves because they had to kind of work around move around a little bit I actually i have to be able to get into the camera to change the batteries and so i looked on amazon i found this uh, little um, deal here that this actually springs out like that and the camera goes in there and then you just put this or the camera goes into here I should say and then that just snaps in there and uh, so it holds it in there I figure I'll just put some tape on here so that nothing pushes against there and pops the camera out but it it holds it in there really nice and it actually comes the other part is this little mount here so it'll actually screw into the back of this so it's holding it really nice and snug and you can set this any angle you want and I, these things actually have a 3m tape um, double stick tape on them to stick them to the rig so i figure i'll just stick it to the rig point it the way i want it to be and then put some silicone around the edge of it to keep any water from getting under there plus the silicone will help hold it on there but the 3m tape typically is really good uh, i know people that have used that just to even put their solar panels on their roof so uh, anyway so there's that option this is what it actually whoops <laughs> this is what it actually looks like when it's all put together so this one's in there the camera's in there <clears throat> it's ready to stick on the the roof and you can see that i can angle this any way that works the best it locks into place and so i think that'll work out pretty good so let's go ahead and start installing some of these and see how it actually looks so these are one thing that i bought that connects together but this extra this other piece here the one that's got the actual tape on it and everything this is another portion that i bought and the idea is is that this that normally would screw into the side of the rig which i don't want to do um, will just sit in here and then this screws down on that and there's foam in the bottom of that so all we're doing is we're just screwing this down nice and tight onto that foam and that's what holds this actually in place so when I silicone this, I'm just going to silicone around the bottom of this. I'm not going to silicone clear up into the piece that turns here so that I can, if I decide I need to, I could take this off later and pull this piece off. But right now, that's on there nice and solid. So I'm mounting the doorbell right here and I'm going to, uh, first I'm going to clean it off with um, alcohol. And then that way I make sure there's nothing on there that's gonna inhibit the tape from sticking because I've got double stick tape here. I've got Gorilla double stick tape on the back of this little mount. And so I'm just mounting it on here. And then a little trick, we're gonna go ahead and silicone around this. I don't wanna silicone on the bottom. I'm just gonna silicone around the top and sides in case water does get in there somehow, it does have a way to uh, drain out. And then now that this is all siliconed, I want to clean it up by if I a little trick is just spray some soapy water around this and then you just rub your finger around there and when you're all done then you have a very nice looking silicone piece there it's not all yucky looking next I'm installing the back camera so I wanted to check and see where it's gonna look the best and then I've got to uh, clean it off also so we're gonna clean it all off and then We'll be able to take the uh, 3m tape and stick that onto the back of the rig really good and then the next step is again we're just going to silicone around the uh, top and the sides and then then we'll go ahead and do our little trick with the spray bottle and clean that all up so the thing is is just to make it look nice and that's what it looks like so that's pretty good there hi tansy What's up, huh? Look, we mounted a little camera right up here above you. This camera is actually pointing outside and this is using the little mounts that came with the camera itself. 
The issue is with these is they just pop on and off. So I didn't want to use those outside because I don't want it just to pop off accidentally. But it uh, will work out really well right there. Oh, did you find something, Tansy? Huh? You seeing something? <laughs> she loves it up on her little box here. And the last camera that we've mounted is our inside camera. It's the little mini. So it's pointing towards the back of the rig. The mini is not wireless, so it's uh, wired directly into the power of the rig. And one of the cool things about this inside camera is it acts as a doorbell chime when someone comes to the door and rings the doorbell. So everything is installed now. So here's a picture. Shows my back one, my side one, uh, the one on the roof. One of the things that was a little bit of a concern on mounting these is that, especially on the side one where it's sticking out so far, I thought maybe the wind would blow it off, but we have actually gone um, a few hundred miles now and it's still stuck on there just as good as when I first started. So that's working out really well, even though it is sticking out away from the rig a little bit to give me a good view of the side. This is what the top looks like um, on the roof if I'm looking back at the roof. Uh, this is our inside view, and then this is our um, side view, our front view, our back view, and then on the doorbell side, here is the doorbell. And that's all there is to it. It's all in. Uh, it works really good, except <laughs> it only works if you have um, internet. That's it. You have to have internet to make this system work. So it seems like a major flaw because even if you're at home and your internet goes down, your whole security system goes down. So I don't really understand why I have to have the internet active to be able to, you know, as long as my Wi-Fi is working within my rig, I should be able to turn the cameras on and off and be able to store the images to the, you know, the Sync 2 card that you know the extra memory chip that i bought but it doesn't let me do anything with the app will not let me do anything if it has no internet service it just says i can't find the server so it's it's i don't know it's kind of mind-boggling in that sense but you know if you're gonna have internet i mean in our case most of the time we have internet we always try to have internet because we do so much on the internet uh, but those of you that are out parking in the middle of nowhere and you like it uh, with no signal or no way for anyone to get a hold of you, this system is not for you. So just just being upfront there. Uh, it works fine for us because you know most of the time we do have internet. Now there's one thing that uh, we haven't talked about yet and that is the um, plans, okay? I mentioned at the first of this that you have to have a plan to make this work. Well, that's not necessarily true. If you want to store all your images for the next 90 days kind of thing out in the cloud and make the retrieval quicker, then you do need to pay for their plan, which for a multi-system like I have here is $10 a month, $120 a year. Um, so that's, that's quite a bit. That adds up really quick. Uh, but you do not have to have that. So I got the free trial. I used it. I tested it. It all worked great. Uh, the free trial ended. So now I have no plan. Uh, but I still have to have internet to be able to activate the stuff, even though I don't have a plan anymore. But when I want to recall something, I, it just recalls it off the USB um, storage. So that works out really nice that way. So you don't have to have the uh, pay for the plan to make it work. If you pay for the plan, there are some little extras that you get um, as far as um, just being able to retrieve it quicker, basically. And you have the cloud storage, so it's all stored on the cloud automatically. Uh, so if someone came and took your little sync module, they stole everything, you'd still at least have um, the images on the cloud. We, we haven't had any problems for six years, so you know that we're not really too worried about that whole setup. But if you are, then that's maybe something that you need to be uh, thinking about with this particular security system. But I should point out that if you bought the other ones where there has the uh, storage, 
it's a big box that runs off of AC all the time. This one runs off my battery all the time, so there's no extra power draw there compared to having a, a regular AC system. Then um, that, you know, someone can just pick up that box and take it too. So, you know, well, what's the difference? <laughs> and they cost a lot more than what I paid for this system. So I think overall this works pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. We're not going to change it. it. It's doing the job and most of the time we do have internet. So hopefully this is of help to you. It was kind of interesting. Uh, it's been fun playing with it a little bit here and there and be able to see things, you know, when we're out and about, even though we don't have a service plan, if we're out and about and, you know, Tansy moves inside or, you know, somebody walks by the unit or whatever, it does notify us. So it just takes a second longer to actually click on it to pull it up off of the USB memory than to pull it from the cloud. Because instead of going from the cloud down to you, it's now going from the device to the, well, to the internet to you. <laughs> so it, it does slow it down just a little bit, but it still works just fine. So anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully this was helpful and then we'll just plan on just seeing you down the road somewhere and if not maybe we'll hopefully see you on another video down the road so take care